intraosseous or intravenous vascular access for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Background Out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is a critical medical emergency that requires prompt and effective intervention. The choice of vascular access for medication administration during cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a crucial aspect of pre-hospital care. Both intraosseous and intravenous routes are used, but their impact on patient outcomes has been a subject of investigation. Study Design and Methods Several studies and meta-analyses have compared the outcomes of intraosseous versus intravenous access in out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients. These studies have included retrospective observational studies, systematic reviews, and randomized controlled trials. For example, a systematic review and meta-analysis involving 111,746 adult out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients found no significant association between the type of vascular access and neurological or survival outcomes. Another randomized trial conducted across 11 emergency medical systems in the United Kingdom randomly assigned 6,082 patients to either an intraosseous first or intravenous first vascular access strategy. The primary outcome was survival at 30 days, with secondary outcomes including return of spontaneous circulation and favorable neurologic function at hospital discharge. Results the results from these studies consistently show that there is no significant difference in clinically meaningful outcomes between intraosseous and intravenous access. Here are some key findings. The randomized trial mentioned above found similar 30-day survival rates, with 4.5% in the intraosseous group versus 5.1% in the intravenous group and favorable neurologic outcomes at hospital discharge, with 2.7% in the intraosseous group versus 2.8% in the intravenous group. A meta-analysis of nine retrospective observational studies found no significant association between the types of vascular access and favorable neurological outcomes at hospital discharge. Another study involving 1,771 patients also found no difference in survival to hospital discharge, return of spontaneous circulation, or favorable neurological outcomes between intraosseous and intravenous access groups. Conclusion The current evidence suggests that the choice between intraosseous and intravenous access does not significantly impact the clinical outcomes of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients. Both methods are reasonable and can be chosen based on personal comfort, local protocols, and patient-specific circumstances. Bottom line, in the context of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, the decision to use intraosseous or intravenous access for medication administration can be made based on practical considerations, such as the ease and speed of access establishment. Intraosseous access is generally quicker and has higher first attempt success rates but it does not confer a significant clinical advantage over intravenous access in terms of survival, return of spontaneous circulation, or neurological outcomes. Therefore, either approach is acceptable, and pursuing an intraosseous access when intravenous access is challenging is a valid strategy.